lot of you fuck niggas is losing and accusing and refusing to grow. Shout out to my nigga Cross, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. It's the club podcast. It's the club podcast. It's the club podcast. Hey, hey, hey. All on the panel, talking about another, talking about their sister, talking about their brother. Niggas ain't real no more. Niggas ain't loyal no more. You know they don't follow the code, and that's why they getting exposed. The key guys taking control. They not in control of their souls. We booking themselves like Barry White. My niggas living in paradise. We building the team, the enterprise. It's a club podcast. It's a club podcast. It's a club podcast. What up, y'all, man? We back at it like crack at it. It's your boy, Cross, man. Balls Cross, big CEO, Cross your heart, man. We up in the building tonight, man. It's Saturday. I hope everybody's doing good. I appreciate y'all tapping in, checking this out. I know y'all done seen the internet and went crazy today with the Tyler Perry and the Christian Keys. Now, let's break this down a little bit. So I didn't even know who Christian Keys was. So Christian Keys is this actor. I guess he played in a lot of movies, like, you know, no no disrespect, like low level movies or, or or like plays, whatever the case may be. And he's been offered a lot of jobs, but he turned them down. Now he comes out today to say, people like he didn't say the name, but everybody's saying the two billionaires that he know allegedly is Tyler Perry and Robert F. Smith. Now everybody knew Tyler Perry, Medea, everybody know who, who he is, right? But let me tell you about Robert F. Smith. So Robert F. Smith, a lot of people don't know him. Go look him up. Robert F. Smith is the one of the richest, is the richest black man in America, right? He's he's worth $111 billion. So this guy started off as an engineer, and somehow he got into the stock market. One day he got with a guy. He was he talks about how he was in a book club with a bunch of men. It just it's just a little weird. Right, the Robert L. Smith, but the guy is like rich. He's like beyond famous. Uh, several years ago, he married a his Playboy uh, girlfriend. He always wanted to marry a Playboy girlfriend. Y'all can go check him out. So anyway, Christian Keys comes out and and starts to say that he has audio, he has video. He used to carry these pins because um, he didn't trust a lot of people. So there's, there's two different situations, a bunch of them that's going to come out. I think a lot of this is going to come out. It's going to be really bad. And with Tyler Perry anyway, because I always wondered, and no disrespect to you, Tyler, like, I get the Medea thing. I ain't never been no Medea fan, and don't knock me for that. Just ain't never been into that. Like, I'm not into that. I'm not going to come and see none of that. And then on top of that, let's be honest, bro. Like, you big, tall, six, seven, six, eight dude wearing a dress and, you know, pretending to be a woman. And to me, kind of mocking like grandma and them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion on it. But anyhow, the whole thing is that Christian came out and he didn't say, man, I'd have turned out so much money. The Statue of Libertation has been ran out. But he talking about going to the police. And he said he'll take eight lie detector tests. Bro, man, it's about to get crazy. So what I want to do with further ado Let's go ahead and let's get into this and let's break this down right here. What this man's saying. If y'all like this stuff, comment in the section, man. Tell me what y'all think. One second. 
I'm a, I'm a do this and I'm a pay off this and I'm a pay off that and I'm a pay off that. But at the same time, these same people are predators. I'm not. blaming myself for saying no. I'm not blaming myself for almost quitting acting. I'm just mad at me for not being brave enough to say something sooner. That's the only That's the problem I also have. Like, bro, man, you can't want money that bad, bro. Like, somebody's violating you and you just like, man, I got to eat. Man, I'm going to go find another job. I ain't even going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find a totally different hustle. Man, there's so many hustles in the world. A lot of times it comes to people want this recognition added with the money. But, you know, a lot of times these actors and these actresses don't even have any money. They don't have no money. They just got the notoriety. But after a while, they get tired of notoriety. It doesn't work, right? So let's keep going, y'all. Only thing that I regret, I wish I'd have been brave enough. I'm him now. I'm brave. I know who I am. I know who God built me to be. And I'm not afraid of those consequences. My concern is that a lot of y'all are going to be like, man. And your immediate reaction is going to be like, oh, well, we got to protect our deity. We got to protect. See, he almost slipped up and said his name, too, if you notice. He wanted to say that person's name so bad. And he said, everybody is going to mess everybody up. So imagine everybody up. This has got to be, again, he's a billionaire, but this is the person that, that touches the money. And he knows this. It, it's going to have to happen. I'm interested to see which peers are mad at me because it may interfere with their work. Yeah. You get a grown ass man that knows that you're heterosexual and you're sleeping off Hennessy in his guest room. So right here, Christian is going to go into, and he doesn't say who this is now. Now, again, we don't know who this is, but it seemed like you want to say it. Well, he goes into this story about how he got drunk. He was at the party at the person's house. And they say you can sleep in the guest room. It's a safe place. So he's going to go into this whole thing about him being in the guest room, getting drunk. I don't know. I, I, my whole thing is he didn't feel the vibes. I mean, like, but he probably, he, whoever this person was, didn't approach him at first. So, but then again, for, I don't know, this is weird. So let's check it out, y'all. Let's go back. I'm mad at me because it may interfere with their work. But. Yeah. You get a grown ass man that knows that you're heterosexual and you're sleeping off Hennessy in his guest room. Because he says it's safe. Because, you know, I know I'm bent, so I'm at their big party. So basically what he's saying is, a man said he was tore up. They had a party that night. He down in the Hennessy. Y'all know how that yak do. So he been down in the Hennessy. You had a billionaire's house, and he got plenty of liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like, almost like, is he trying to get him drunk or something? I really want to know how many people was at the party. You know what I'm saying? Was it like a packed party for you to end up spending the night? What time did it end? There's a lot of things, but let's keep going. I won't say what type. I won't say where. I'm asleep. I'm, I'm gone because I'm four five Hennessy's deep and not short Hennessy's either. And this dude tries to climb into bed with you. So you spaz out, push him out. Like, what the fuck? So now, like he's saying, like, he freaks out. Like, bro, what is you doing? Like, why are you in here? Right? So right then and there, like, of course, he wakes up. Now, now he's drunk. But now he's sober. It's gone, bro. It's sober. Now, imagine how many people. This is what's so crazy. Imagine how many people, when they was drunk in there, that they didn't get up. See what I'm saying? Imagine how many people, when they talk about casting couches and stuff like that, man, it's the casting bed. This is crazy. Get ready to leave. He apologizes. Blame it on the alcohol. Yeah. 
and you try to forgive him. So you're like, all right, man. See right then and there? Yeah. See, he better than me. That ain't, you can't, Nick, ain't no alcohol in the world to make me want to take my clothes off to get in the bed with another man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you know, maybe that's, well, I don't know. Like, I get what he's saying, but I don't get what he's saying. Like, it, it just, it, no, 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 no. All right, I'm gone. You shake his hand on the way out, and he tries to grab your penis. He tries to shake and grab your equipment. So after all this, my man goes off on a spaz. I'll ask him, what are you doing, bro? Then he turns around and then grabs his, grabs at the tool, pause. And then he decides, like, that's bold. It ain't no alcohol. He almost was like, okay, let me try him one more time. Now, y'all remember now, Terry Crews did the same thing. That's why I said they all have the same way where they come up and try to strip your manhood, right? And you spaz even more. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? What the fuck are you? What the fuck? So you go to leave. He tries to do it again. That's crazy. Now, at that point, my only regret is not breaking multiple bones in this person's face. Now, let's start right there. Okay, my man got in the bed with you. I don't understand what spaz and mean. Now, maybe, but he's going to go into it. And this is a lot of people in the industry, they, and they're going to explain to you why he did. But, man, at that time, all bets off, bro. I understand you trying to get in a movie. I understand you trying to get your money right. You don't work hard all you can, bro. Pause. But, because I got to say pause through this whole video. is a lot going on. So that being said, I'm trying to figure out spazzing. And I mean, maybe because he felt like my man had enough money where he was afraid that my man could have got him locked up. Not only just blackballed or whatever, but man, geez, man, like three times in the bed and twice before you leave and get in your car. My man really, really wanted to get at him. Really. That must be that no effect, no disrespect. It must be that light skin effect. That, 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 that like them dudes, like I don't know, dog. Thank God, brother, dog skin. Yeah, y'all got it bad, bro. Yeah, they all got it bad. That boys, that all them man, ain't no telling what they done done. Like beating a dog shit, right? Because that's available to me at all times. That. And her grizzly bear is always available, but in the moment, I'm like, what the fuck? And wanted to do You got a guy that's a billionaire, and I got three grand in my bank account. Think about what he's saying, because he's saying, man, this man right here at this uh, point, he's a billionaire. What are you gonna three believe? grand. Mm. Right? I got that three grand. That, um, and it's a shame, man. But it's so we're gonna go a little bit. So basically, he ended up leaving. He didn't say who it is. So this man is a billionaire. He only got, and I think that's how they get him. So this man said he only got three thousand dollars in there, you know, as for his baby mom and his kid. And that's why he just left. He was like, man. So then you violated. My thing is, man, what's with this, this money and this power thing? So when you, here's my thing. If that happened and you don't say nothing to nobody, guess what happens when they see you out at that party? You're not going to warn because you're embarrassed. So you're not going to warn your homeboy. Your homeboy, like, hey, man, guess what? A man came over there hollering at me. And you're like, yeah, you probably want to. Instead of saying, hey, bro. A man is out there like he might do something to you, might end up hurting him because you can't just put a person. And now think about this. Now, somebody had to pass him the ball, had to throw him the alley. -oop. 
So was that person before him that met all these big wigs? Were they the ones also, you know, that's how I go? Alley oop here, alley oop there. Let's keep it going. You do me like that, hurt people, hurt people. If we pass the ball along and all that stuff, this is crazy. So that scenario right there. So I don't know if it was if it was Tyler. I don't know if it was Robert or Bob, however you want to call him. I don't know if it was Tyler or Bob, right? But we know that was one of them. Now, here's another scenario where he said he was not working for that person. Now, again, the reason why I said the two different scenarios, if you pay attention, one is a person who had money that invited him to his house. And then he was just going to like, I don't know, maybe, you know, hook up with him or trying to get with him. Now, this other scenario breaks it down where he said I wasn't working for him at the time. So Robert F. Smith is a billionaire. He's not a director. He's not a producer. He invests in media, but he is not a producer or director. I just want to clear that air. So this one right here, you can pretty much narrow it down of who he is actually talking about. Um. Who are you going to believe? Right? I got that three grand. That, um, and it's a shame, man. But it's, I think it's time. It, it's, I want to, and I know, P, I know you're on here. I want to say everything now. Now, this part right here, I get it. He want to say everything now. And again, he jumping on the bandwagon. They all coming out. Everybody's coming out. I just think it needs to be a flush in the entertainment world. Hopefully, somebody will have enough gall to start talking about the other cultures instead of just us. And maybe this is a fixing on us. Maybe we're seeing like, hey, man, what we've been doing, man, this ain't right. I mean, you, you, you talking about these are grown men that you didn't either they didn't put all the eggs in one basket to do this one thing. And it's these gatekeepers in order for them to get through this one. They got to go through that one and every time, you know, it's crazy just to end up being used at the end. Shout out to my guy to sacrifice. Y'all go check him out too, man. Cause he talks about all that conspiracy and everything. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. Y'all make sure you like comment, subscribe to him as well. So this is crazy. So let's keep going. And I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money, but. Now, I think when he breaks that down, the statute of limitations expired because at, at the same time, I think he had an NDA. Right. So I think he had to I think he waited on the NDA. But the difference in a lot of people don't know about the NDA. Yes, you can have an NDA, but anytime that there is um, any essays or S attacks towards you or um, somebody uh, 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 S harassing you, they're harassing you physically, you know what I'm saying, or physically trying to intimidate you, that NDA becomes non-void because one becomes a criminal charge and the other one becomes a felony charge. A lot of people don't know that. That's why a lot of them can get around it, you know, when it comes to NDA. That's just for some of y'all to know that. So maybe that's the reason why he stopped the statute of limitations. I'm going to take, I'm going to have to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and let them hear this individual. Now, that's also crazy because, again, now, uh, Again, I understand where you're coming from with this and people are coming out. But at the same time, like y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like, you're going to go down to the police. Like, my man, you could have been down there. It could have been a lot. See, here's my thing. A lot of times we get it confused of, oh, man, if you do that, man, you're going to stop the next brother from trying to get the opportunity. Maybe the next brother will get the opportunity. Or maybe that person will stop. But if that's the program and how the blueprint works, come on, bro. Like you could have been saying something. It could have been a lot of it's a lot of Gary Coleman's out there. Um, excuse me, a lot of Webster's, 
a lot of tie bridges that was out there. That they could have said something too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that could have said something. So, you know, that's the way I look at it. I wasn't working for him. See, listen to this. So he said he wasn't working for him. But this guy right here, he's going to break down this story, which I think is TP, allegedly. The month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand. So whoever this person is, he wasn't working for him, and he turned around and popped up at this man's apartment. This is crazy how they do it. But there's a billionaire now. He is pop up at this man's apartment and offer him $100,000. Now, check this out what he offered him for. To take my clothes off. To take his clothes off. He offered him $100,000 to take his clothes off. Now, look, it gets even weirder. Listen to this part. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. Bro, that's got to be violating. Bro, my gosh. My man said, I'm going to give you 100 bands. You in my house, in my apartment. I'm going to offer you a job. I'm going to give you 100 bands. But I'm not going to touch you. Right then and there, even, listen, bro. I mean, think about the tricks that they have. You won't really want to break this down. Think about the tricks. Now, how many people, and I want to know in the chat, I mean, in the comment section down there, how many people took that money grant? How many men, grown black men, think about this is crazy that you that you want to be in, in the entertainment world that bad that you would like a female, like a dude would do a stripper chick or something, no disrespect to them. You paying them money and you say, man, you look good. I just want to, I want you to take your clothes off and just let me stare at you. I, man, see, this is why I don't get it. This is what I'm saying. So now you're coming out and you feel like you need to tell somebody, man, you supposed to go tell that first to the police. Tell that first. Don't tell that on the entertainment world, bro. I'm just saying like, like, bro, don't nobody, and then you got your homeboy in the chat. You're like, Pete, I know you don't want me to say that. Bro, you, you, I mean, you went live, but a lot of this time thing is to build up the momentum for them to get the bread. You see what I'm saying? Because at this time, the whoever you did that to know that you're saying this. So why not say their name? Like, that's like the old 90s, you know what I'm saying? Throwing shots. Like, who does that? Just say the name and keep it moving. That's it. I declined because again, I'm glad. I got my Hold on, salute to you, bro. I am so glad you declined. I'm glad you. I think you probably wanted only a handful of people that can come out and say that right now. That's what's so crazy. My integrity with me. I'll, I'll take the long way around. But being that I wasn't working with him, and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job. See what I'm saying? He didn't really off. He didn't go to his apartment, man. He could have called him up in there in the thing, bro. You telling me he he offered you a job, get, told you he's gonna give you a hundred bands, and showed up at your apartment, man. He really was playing on you. He was playing on you bad, like it was like it's sick, like you you was a a, a a gullible female. Like he just he just in town, he just gonna whoop up on you. Yeah, I got a hundred bands for you. Hey, take clothes off, man. What, man? I think he could have did something to him at that time. And he probably would have got away. You in my house, bro. Like, where's his wife and kids at? I'm like, up in there, man. He probably like, damn, I can't get no job. I ain't even a job. Then this dude pop up. What you doing here? Oh, yeah, how you doing, man? I want to offer you. You talking about a person that runs this company, pulled up at your crib to offer you a job. He don't got no scouts, no talent agents, none of that this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to so, so listen to what he said around. he talking about this show coming up that i wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment he had visited my apartment to offer me a job of this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else so he needed another lead mm. 
I recorded it because I didn't trust him. And I see at that time right there, why is it? See, bro, you were supposed to take that recording and then you call him and say, hey, bro, hey, man, you got some issues, my dog. I know I ain't going to be able to work this out. And then what I did was I made about four different records, you know, like on the James Bonds, on the movies and stuff. Man, I got them in five different areas. You won't never find them. Something happened to me. Hey, look here, bro. I don't go that way. I ain't like that. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to put me in all your movies and you're going to ride this thing out. Pause. I got to say that again. Until I'm done acting. You got to pick me first. If not, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leak everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you got the video, man, go ahead and expose this dude, man. Man, go and blow the internet up. Man, blow this internet up, man. Turn this upside down because, man, these, all these sick dudes, they need to be exposed, bro. This is wrong. I told him over and over, and he still always tried shit. Just tried shit. See, that's another thing. He told him over and over. Man, listen, I want to know how much at that time they actually was getting paid because that don't make sense. You tell him this man over and over, bro, don't touch me, bro. Bro, I ain't fruity. He must have seen, hey, hey, look, Chris, I heard, I don't know how true this is. Now, I don't know how it is in the industry. Maybe in the industry they think y'all brothers that's light skin and got your hair done right and got your, got your beard and all that that y'all the ones that y'all can get over. And again, it might have been some God's skin brothers. But man, to me, it don't seem like they he respected you at all, bro. It's almost like Terry Crews. And it makes you think, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm just giving my opinion, bro. I'm just saying, like with Terry Crews, that what I thought was, in order for a little bitty man to keep coming up, grabbing on you, knowing you this big black dude with muscles, Bro, it's some other rumors. You done slipped up somewhere else, and he got the back. He ended up getting the rumor report. He got the rumor report on you because I don't understand if you with this guy and this guy pushing up on you. What you was laughing when he was saying, "How man, you look nice today." Like, what was you doing to get this man to keep doing it? Because I know as a man, if I say no, I ain't with that. And this man come to me, bro. There's no way. Shout out to J John uh, Amos, dog. He did that over there when it came to good times. They tried to buffoon him and made him look like he was some old hustle and bustle jive turkey. You see the hat jive turkey, man. Y'all get the truckers hat. Turn him into a jive turkey. And then you telling me he turns around and puts himself in a position to keep being asked over and over again. And come on, fam. Like you were supposed to, this, this little beast you got in you and this you so mad, you more of a tension tampon guy to me. You don't seem like the real deal, Holyfield, dog. You probably ain't got no hands. But then, man, you got these, man, listen, bro. You got these people on here, and they punking you, pause, and no offense, that I'm talking about trying to make you feel like you less than that. And if you don't come up, man, ain't that much money, bro. Man, even a hundred, man, ain't that no much money, bro. Because he give you that hundred grand, what? The next time he gonna tell you, you man, I need a job, man. I was wanting to need a job. I'm hurt for some money. Well, you got to do this for fifty. Last time you gave me hundred, yeah, but you need the money now, man. Come on, man. This is crazy. Man, let's keep going. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. See, see. I have always kept. Look at that. My man and kept a recorder pen. So he didn't even trust nobody. So imagine, is there a lot of people with these recorder pins? What's going on, bro? You got the, you got it. So, hey, bro, expose it. But then you know what makes me think, even if he do that, the sad part, would it matter? Because if they got that much money and all this is coming out, would it matter? The only thing I would think it would matter is for the bigger elites that's been the sugar daddies to these guys and they pull their money away from them. And maybe it's a play on to destroy all them, put them in, program them, then destroy them, pull our money out. Now we can redo it all over. We get rid of the big tall ones, the ones that the ones that, that was talented, and we're gonna take their stuff. I don't know. Something on me. Always, even if my phone is off. 
Something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense. I've See, that makes me think too, bro. How many people you done got to this point? Because you, I mean, you didn't work with him. Just, I mean, I don't know. Did you just work with him? Or were there other movies you were in? There were other movies you're saying if other people did you like that. So that sounds, maybe I'm wrong, y'all. Listen to it, it sound multiple. But he's been done like that a lot to the point where he got to have this recording pen when he said he don't trust people. I have always kept something on me. Always. Even if my phone is off. Something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense. I've always kept something on me <clears throat> so I can protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, then they, they can also try to get in the way of your work. And that's true. That's a true statement. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I think this is crazy. I think, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, all these people coming out, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Robert, Robert F. Smith is going to be next. They're going to come out. Like I said, he's one, he's the richest black man in the, in, in, you know, in the United States right now. Everybody knows that. So the two people, so I guess the two people, that are that are doing this thing right now is Tyler Perry allegedly and Robert F. Smith allegedly. So they're funding the media part, I guess, in our black culture or whatever. And the guy said that. Now again, is he looking for clout? I don't know. Um, is he playing? Is he playing smart? Because he said he's eight chess moves ahead. So is he doing this again to get nostalgic? Because think about it. Nobody knew who he was, Christian Keys. Like, I'm pretty much sure. No disrespect to you, brother. But now the internet's going crazy because you're attached to this Tyler Perry thing. And you're talking about these billionaires that you know that have destroyed our culture and have done these things to these actors that have put them in some very uncompromising positions. So I can only imagine if they were that much um intimidating i don't know maybe because you wanted the career and you thought man what do i do i don't want to lose this or i'm struggling actor or whatever the case may be but at the end of the day it's just crazy where if they intimidated men men like these ain't like, i don't know maybe they might see some of these men it's like yeah i can run game on them i don't know i'm masculine i have no idea so i'm just saying from that point of view but I'm speaking as a man. What about if they did the guys like that? Man, imagine how they treated the women. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. You talking about some really off the wall stuff that we could never even imagine. And a lot of them women could be traumatized because of that. Because I know these guys are, you know, they, they take them through the ringer, get done with them, and then they let them go. See what I'm saying? So. I don't know. I think that's crazy. I think it's really off the wall. But again, like I said at the end of the day, man, this is it gets deeper than what we think. And going down this rabbit hole in the industry, a lot of them getting exposed. <clears throat> so kids, again, man, if you want a career, please, you know, do the right thing. Make the right decisions, man. You only do what your options allow you to do. So if Christian Keys, man, you didn't do none of that stuff and you stood on stood on principle, and you said I wasn't going to bend or waver for nobody, then salute you. The problem is there's a lot of young men that did that. And that's why you're probably bothered because, like you said, you're not worried about it, but you you know, you felt bad that you couldn't say something at that time. And I don't know how long it's been, but I do know it don't matter. Now, if that's going to be the new trend now where men are going to come out and say, hey, man, this other man, like, I don't know. Y'all can come out and say, hey, man, this man tried to touch on me and all this. Like, I think that's crazy. Now, another question I got with the other guy, uh, the other billionaire, when he stayed at his house, did he record that? Like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
I don't know why, you know. So, but anyway, tell me what y'all think, man. Y'all hit that hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Also, check out the plug podcast too. That will start. We'll start going live on that as well. Um, that one's already been monetized, but you know, I'm doing some other stuff right now. But again, we're gonna run this up. We're gonna keep going. We'll keep doing the great things. We're going to keep putting this content out there, man. Um, salute to everybody that's supporting, pushing the brand. I appreciate y'all. I couldn't do it without y'all. I promise that. And, um, yeah, we're going to c- continue to keep growing, man. So salute to everybody. Shout out to everybody. And on that note, like I said, again, you've been plugged in with the Plug Podcast. 